So welcome. So this new book is called The Heart of A Course in Miracles. And without going into a lot of history of my life related to the Course or the Course's history on a linear level, um, really, I titled it The Heart of A Course in Miracles for several reasons, not the least of which being the Course has gotten studied in a more and more intense way, intellectual way. There's an approach to it that's very uh, um, cerebral, I guess you could say. Some people say the Course is cerebral, and it really is and isn't. In some respects, it's just deeply inspirational, but it definitely will come across a little bit, you know, concrete or intellectual. And it does that for various reasons. It does it because, in part, Jesus is talking through Helen, who scribed the Course, and it presents material that's designed to sort of psychoanalyze and or heal the mind, the psyche. So it's going to come across a little bit like psychoanalysis. You know, but it's, it's, it, its intention was never to really lose the heart. So when I describe it as the heart of A Course in Miracles, and that's one thing that Alan Cohen shared. He said he loved that it was called the heart. Then he read some of it and he went, wow. And you know, what he really dug, he didn't talk about the, the layout of all the concepts and so forth, which he, you know people dig. He talked about, he was just wowed by the history that I was talking about. You know, the, the, the hidden history, the metaphysics, the spirituality, the past lives of Helen, all that, which I'm calling the heart, all that was left out of it. And now we feel like we're talking about the Bible again. There were all kinds of books that were edited out of the Bible. And so it, it sort of ends up with that kind of a strange history where there, the course was original notes were quite a bit, there was quite a bit more there. But what I feel is it gave a, more of a feeling, still very deep, still a lot for the mind, but it was still very, very uh, much broader and just fantastic material, which they now call the Yurtex version of the course. And man, oh man, there's a lot there. So for the brave of heart, you know, you could you can look for it. So the... Um, a, a, really, a, I call a course, I almost titled the book that, this is, A Course in Miracles is really a course in Christ consciousness. Because it is the Christ that wrote it. It's the Christ in us that's being given the gift of that material. It's the Christ in us that's being awakened by processing the material, and so on and so on. So really, it's A Course in Christ consciousness. You know, and I juggled that. I thought, well, if we call this book A Course in Christ Consciousness, some of my students gave their opinion and they said, no, because we want you to write a book on Christ Consciousness. And so uh, around and around we went, so we ended up calling it The Heart of A Course in Miracles. 